also joined by Laura Kong. She is the director of the International Tsunami Information Center based in Hawaii, a tsunami warning for just about now. Laura Kong, what information can you bring us? Uh, only that uh, we believe the wave has probably already arrived, though we don't have any reports right now of seeing anything in Hawaii. Uh, but we are in a, a, a warning in Hawaii, and, and the state has, and all the coasts have been evacuated. Uh, we've been in a warning for about four or five hours with an evacuation. Is there any way you can tell where the—because there's so many, obviously, countries in the Pacific Basin that have been put on alert. Uh, uh, any likely direction for the strongest uh, parts of the tsunami, which countries might be most in danger? Well, you know, clearly after Japan, a lot of the energy is directed towards Hawaii, and there's some fingers that are, are headed perhaps to um, towards the Pacific Northwest. Um, but it looks like some of our uh, the coastal forecasts that the Pacific Tsunami uh, Warning Center has been looking at, um, they're estimating things of, of certainly less than a meter or two. But really, that's that's a, an amplitude. Uh, so, but we're waiting to see how how waves are occurring or observed in Hawaii before I go further with anything more on whether the warning will continue or, or be canceled. The AP has put out a news alert, Laura Kong, saying, uh, to tsunami waves slam Hawaii waves sweeping through islands. Uh, certainly, the, a tsunami is a series of waves, and it does sweep across the ocean, and it would hit all parts of the island. But, you know, it is the middle of the night here, and unless they have specific eyewitness observation, it would be a little bit difficult to say that. Um, we do have uh, sea level gauges or tide gauges uh, that are measuring, but I haven't seen the readings yet. How many people have to be evacuated, and where do they go? Um, here in Hawaii, we have evacuation maps since the 1990s, and they're in the phone book. So all of our residents are very well aware, and especially after the Chile event in February of 2010. Uh, we all know uh, what a tsunami is. We all know where to go. Um, by and large, most of the residents have retreated inland or they've gone to shelters or to their family or friends. And within Waikiki, where most of our tourists are, um, there we have a policy of vertical evacuation or sheltering in place. So the hotels that are, are tall, reinforced concrete buildings, the hotel guests would go upstairs above the third floor. We're also